Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at the Inner Drone Convention 2016 in fabulous Las Vegas. And I'm talking to Greg Kretzinger, who's the Scientific Program Director for Parrot. How are you doing, Greg? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming by. Well, we're glad to be here, especially because you've got so many cool new toys. What's going on? That's right. So we have two new platforms that are coming out. We have an updated Bebop 2 FPV and okay. we have Disco. Both of them come with a brand new sky controller. So this is a smaller sky controller than we've been selling before. You get about two kilometers of range and nice stick controls. You can still fly with your phone if you want to, but a lot of people want to use that stick control. Then we have brand new FPV goggles. So these come together with the kits and so you just pop your phone in here you plug the phone into the sky controller to eliminate some of that latency and you can see real time either what bebop or disco what they're seeing in, in a live view you can swap these out same controller same app same live view with both platforms that's cool and it looks like if you don't want to use the goggles I'm guessing you can maybe just mount your phone on this controller right here. So you get that live stream in there, but if you want to switch to FPV, you just hit the goggle mode, you'll get two little circles, ah. and you slide it in. Tell, tell us a little bit more about the platforms. The Bebop, obviously a multi-rotor. What's your flying time and performance and all that? Yeah, so Bebop 2 is a great little platform. You're looking at about 25 minutes on a single battery. Nice That's thing about these batteries, they're only in that $50 price range, and so a lot cheaper. Yeah. You also don't have a gimbal. Now, for a lot of people, the gimbal is the most fragile part, and it, it tends is. to break. It's fairly expensive. Instead, we have a big digitally stabilized platform. Great 1080 video, 14 megapixel stills, about six gigs of storage on board, and totally repairable. So you can fix every part of Bebop 2, including the camera if you want to. And then I, I can't help but notice on the front of Disco here that the camera looks fairly similar. Yeah, that's right. So it's the same Bebop camera. So it's basically we've taken our multi-rotor and for folks that then want to step it up to a fixed wing, we made an off-the-shelf ready-to-fly fixed wing. It's Very super cool. light. Uh, Bebop's about a pound. This is about two pounds. The wings pull off so it's really portable uh, and a new autopilot inside. So this is the parent Chuck. <laughs> Parrot Chuck is a nice built-in autopilot all-in-one. So you have an uh, optical flow and a sonar on the bottom. You have the Bebop camera, a pitot tube. You get that live video stream via Wi-Fi, um, as well as 32 gigs of storage on board. Wow. So pretty awesome. We're really excited about Disco. The nice thing about this platform is auto takeoff and landing. You just hit go and you throw it in the air and it'll go up into a loiter and wait for oh. you for stick controls. Both platforms come with Flight Plan. That's an in-app purchase on the Free Flight Pro app from Parrot. You can do waypoints with both of these platforms. Very cool. Can you get a Nader view for like mapping? Bebop will already map with the Pix4D Capture app. You get that whole big fisheye, and so you basically get the straight down in there, yeah. and Pix4D will stitch that really well. If you want to map about a football field or so with Bebop 2, it's a great little mapping platform. We're getting a lot of educational market that's interested in using it for teaching. Yeah, now what's the price point on each of these? So the bundle for Bebop 2 FPV with the Sky Controller and the goggles is $6.99 retail. The bundle for Disco FPV with the Sky Controller and the goggles is $12.99. But again, once you have the goggles and the controller, you can just add whichever platform later. That's right, yeah. So you don't necessarily need to, to buy the bundle. And eventually, um, if you already have a Bebop, we will sell the Sky Controller and the, the goggles together. So you can just update your Bebop too, you already have. Now looking around your booth, I notice you've got a few pretty high tech looking things like this slam dunk. What's that about? Yeah, so that's our exciting new announcement uh, here at Interdrone. So slam is a real time mapping platform. So it's able to create a point cloud. The drone then can use those points to know if there's obstacles in its way. Now right now we're targeting developers who want to uh, you know, practice with SLAM and use it for uh, testing different algorithms. It has a ROS, open robotics language, that tends to communicate not just to drones but to other robots. Uh, it has an SDK that uses ROS, so you can put this on a Roomba if you, if you want to have a really <laughs> smart vacuum. <laughs> All right, and the other thing is, I guess you guys are getting into the multispectral imaging with the Sequoia sensor. What's that about? Yeah, so Sequoia is a great 100 gram little multispectral camera. It fits on a standard GoPro uh, mount, and that gets you 
four different bands for vegetation mapping, and then a 16 megapixel uh, color camera on there as well. So when it triggers, you get all your multispectral data and your color data. That's for ag, forestry, ecology, anything where you need vegetation monitoring through time. Uh, it's a great little platform. It doesn't even have to be integrated into a drone. That external GPS can just be taped on top and it will geotag everything and trigger the camera all at the same time. That's fantastic. Thanks a bunch, Gregory. All right, thanks so much. And from uh, InterDrone 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Gregory.